So, after 25 years, we're leaving Wilmington, Carolina Beach, and moving to Oklahoma, where Eric is from, and we've been here for four years in my garden. The weeds, we got some rain, so the weeds came up, but I'm really not working much on the garden because we're going to be leaving here in a few months. And I'm just letting it do its thing. The flowers are pretty much taking over the vegetables. And the weeds are pretty much taking over the flowers. <laughs> but the sunflowers are coming up. There is one there. There is a bunch of them over there. And this is very tall. And then... There's another one that grew a little bit taller, and we have buds all over this. And I am so surprised, knock on wood, that the squirrels hasn't had lunch yet. These zinnias, I did not plant these. I did not plant these sunflowers. These are from, these are volunteer sunflowers that came up from the past few years that I had planted them and the zinnias are all volunteers. The only thing I planted in this garden this year because I knew we were leaving are these three sunflowers that's supposed to grow 15 feet or so but I don't know and I planted the tomato plants and those puny little pepper plants and some onions. Oh yeah, and a squash that that didn't do very well because I don't think it, it was pollinated. I haven't seen a bumblebee, but maybe one time, or a honeybee. So there's weeds. I'm just letting it go. I mean, I'm sort of kind of tying up the tomato plants. I think I see a red one back there. A red tomato. Um. Just got a lot to do in the house, packing up a whole bunch of stuff that we have and trying to sell a whole bunch of stuff. But these are I'm taking with me. That's my lavender plant and garlic plant and this tomato plant. This is from a sucker I took off of one of those plants over there. And if you don't know what a sucker is, that's the, let me see if I can find one. That's the leaf coming up in the armpits of a tomato plant. I don't think I can find one over here. But anyway, it's like a, a leaf that comes up in between in the armpits of the tomato plant. And it got pretty big. So I pulled it off and just decided to see what happens if I just stuck it in the dirt instead of in the wire to, to root. But I just stuck it in the dirt. It was a lot smaller than that. And I had to do a lot of watering because it kept wilting. But I kept watering it like two, three times a day. And now look at it. So that plant's gonna go to Oklahoma with me. And this is our blueberry plant that I dug up out of the ground to take. But that's, of course I went to the garden center and had to get one of these. I wasn't planning on getting anything when I went to the garden center, but <sighs> this is so hard. Um, so that's coming with us. That's a mom I dug up out of the yard. It actually came from Oklahoma. Um, now it's coming back with us. It was a lot smaller, now it's a lot bigger. And this banana tree, it was a lot smaller when I put it in this five gallon bucket because I wanted to take it to Oklahoma with me. It's growing, it might need in a bigger container. <laughs> I think it will. I think it's gonna need a bigger container. But anyway, this is the last of our garden, 2022, but next year we're gonna have a bigger garden because we're gonna have a lot bigger space to plant one. So, I hope you enjoyed looking at my flowers and my weeds. The sunflowers before the squirrels get them. And everyone have a happy Friday. <laughs>